Hey, you may think this could be a bad idea, but still I dare to share it. And there are many reasons why I think that Apple could ditch completely some of the designations from their naming scheme, like the one from the S line. Let's talk about it right after intro. <music> Hi guys and welcome to Digital Marketing's channel. My name is Marco and this is your weekly fix of tech news, leaks, rumors and opinions. Everything about Apple and their competitors. If you're fond of this type of content, please subscribe, hit the like button and don't forget to hit notification bell so you don't miss the next video. If you had the chance to familiarize yourself with all the previous editions of Apple's iPhone, you may get confused by the naming decisions made by Cupertino team, especially if you're a little bit younger. Before we get to the point, let's run through some points of history quickly. The first iPhone was a breakthrough, a revolution, but its initial name was iPhone 2G, just to specify 2G connectivity. The next one couldn't even be considered as iPhone 2 because of the original 2G, but it was logical step with the name iPhone 3G since it had 3G capability. And year after, we got iPhone 3GS and the S meant speed, at least according to Phil Schiller. On 2010, Apple introduced iPhone 4, year after iPhone 4S, and at least during that time, it was obvious that the models with pure numbers meant aesthetic improvements, while S was the sign of refinements and internal upgrades. The same approach continued next couple of years, with some additional models like iPhone 5C, which was affordable iPhone with plastic shell and in various colors, because C meant color. iPhone 6, for example, was the first time when Apple introduced second bigger flagship class phone. We thought with 6S and 6S Plus, tradition will continue, but then suddenly we got iPhone SE, which was special edition in iPhone 5-like design. And year after the introduction of iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus, there was no sign of S version. You see, in 2017, we got iPhone 8 instead, and since it had the glass back and wireless charging, there was no 7S. In the meanwhile, we lost iPhone 9 due to iPhone 10th anniversary and we got iPhone 10. 2018 was the year of the grand confusion for the iPhone, but in the same time it marked the return of S designation. iPhone 10s, iPhone 10s Max and newborn iPhone 10R, which was named the same way special cars were named, according to Shell. To sum up the confusion, in 2019 we got iPhone 11, which was perfectly fine, and then we got two iPhones with Pro suffix used to differentiate high-end models from the basic one. Based on current leaked information, we can expect that Apple will expand their lineup to four iPhones. 5.4 inch iPhone 12 model, which personally I would call iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12 Max, which will be identical size to previous iPhone 11, and again I would call that one gladly iPhone 12, and finally iPhone 12 Pro variants of regular and Max size. This year we were surprised with the second version of iPhone's SC, which luckily kept the same naming convention. There are speculations though that Apple might change their naming scheme starting from 2021. Personally, I love that idea. I think it should be simplified. The question is, will they use just the iPhone? Or maybe they'll follow the path of Apple Watch, Apple TV, and call it simply Apple Phone. Let me know what you think in the comments. What would be possible naming scheme for iPhone starting from 2021? The truth is, ever since 2016, Apple announced they're gonna move to three years design cycle. And once that happened, it was almost ridiculous to include the S series from the start. Yes, some of the upgrades were small, especially lately, but they could just just add the numbers or even years and that's it. As mentioned previously, in my ideal scenario it would be simply iPhone mini, iPhone, iPhone Pro and iPhone Pro Max. iPhone SC for example could keep the same naming convention or even get something like the iPhone original or iPhone legacy. You might suggest better idea. Now I'm certain that Apple wants to differentiate themselves from the competition in many ways and I wouldn't be surprised if they just don't care much about the naming in the long run. But we have to wait and see. Hope you like this video. If you do please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It's important for this channel. Thank you for watching Digital Markings. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.